All right, I just got back from the local music store uh, and I bought this 14 by five Ludwig Acrylite. I'll show it to you. Here it is. Uh, I, I got it for 150. Don't know if you can tell, it's not in the best shape. It's very dirty. Uh, and there's actual like spider webs or or those cobwebs in the actual drum. So we're gonna go inside and clean this baby up and maybe put some new heads on her and I'll take you guys along the process. Let's do this. So I'm in my workspace and as you can tell, it is in a little worse condition than I thought. The hoops are definitely rusting. We have a lot of gunk everywhere. And then like I said, there's like cobwebs in the actual snare drum. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun clean. Let's get right into it. All right, so I'm first gonna start with taking all of the tension rods off. So let's do that. Okay, tension rods are off. We're gonna toss them in here. So the top ones aren't too terrible. It doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and check the bottom. All right, so I have the um, batter head off and it actually looks relatively good on the inside. You can see that felt Kind of looks it looks pretty new actually. Um, and besides the cobwebs, <laughs> there's actually a spider in here. Uh, it's not awful. So let's go ahead and clean that up. All right, spider number two. It's been two spiders I've seen in here so far. Man, I think there's a third one too. Nice. Okay, so there seems to be some kind of, uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, but like right here, there seems to be some kind of rust slash mold going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bit of soap and water on this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this instead on that. Oh yeah. All right, can't tell if you can tell a difference. Inside definitely looks cleaner. On to the back. No. All right, we got one set off. That took way too long. All right, so as I was moving to the other one to take it off, I noticed something kind of odd. There's no butt plate on this, so it's just going through there. I've never seen that before. Let me know if you guys have seen that or if that's supposed to be like that. Weird. Hey, future Aiden here. Um, as I finished recording this video and editing it, um, I realized that those drums are supposed to be like that. Uh, they're not supposed to be able to clamp down. You tie the strings for the snare strand through them. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, I definitely don't like it, but yeah. I've also never seen a snare strand like this. 
I'm not sure what this is. Pretty weird. So as I was taking this uh, Rezo head off, it kind of stuck to it. And then this is also... That wasn't smart. But this is also like... I'm, I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. This thing is not... Dang, that was stuck. Gross! Where did all these tension rods go? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and soak these in some WD-40. All right, so there looks like there is some kind of uh, candy. Uh, that's probably where the head was sticking. Go ahead and move on to the rims. So these rims are pretty gross. What I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna just use some chrome polish. I'm gonna go ahead and rub it into the, the rim. Then I'm gonna let it dry. Then I'm gonna come back and uh, rub it off with a dry towel. Let's do that. All right, so it seems like the bottom side is a little worse. We have a pretty intense spot right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush for this part. Look at that. Looks brand new to me. Taking the lugs off, one off. Almost done taking the lugs off. Tell it's dirty. So yeah, let's move on. But right now I'm in the process of removing all, all the hardware, like I said. Uh, this is gonna be kind of difficult. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, everything's off. Go ahead and give this a quick wipe down. Um, you can tell it's definitely dirty. A little bit of like powder rust, a little bit, if that's even a thing. So yeah, move on. Okay, so I literally just took a wet rag to this and it all came off. There's still a couple dings that are scratches. So I can't get those off, but it's definitely nice, all clean, inside's all clean. Now, let's go downstairs in the drum room and search for either a butt plate or a whole new throw off. All right, I found a couple things. One of these should work. All right. We're back. Let's try it. Okay, time to polish all these. So here's the finish. Nice, I'll compare it to the other. All right, so I took the butt plate apart. I don't know why it was so difficult to unscrew, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean out these holes here uh, and maybe try to clean the screw actually too. So yeah. All right, so here's the butt plate. There's some uh, rust there I couldn't get off, but it's definitely a lot more shiny. So let's go ahead and look at the screw. But they both look okay. They could definitely do a little bit of cleaning. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, I got the screw to go in pretty easily. Trying to put it back on the butt plate. And then, I realize I'm calling everything a butt plate at this point, because I don't really know the exact terms. I think this whole compartment here is a butt plate. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. All right, just finished. Let's check this thing out. Turned out really nice, cleans up well. Here, I'll grab a pair of sticks. Sounds great. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these or if you want to buy this one from me. I'll be selling it. Just let me know and I will catch you guys next time.